Training and mentoring young people on leadership skills and roles have been identified as a way of tackling the various challenges facing the country. Details in this report. Speaking at the Future Leadership Assembly event at the Redemption City, Ogun State, the chairman of the Dari Adeboye Foundation, Pastor Leke Adeboye, told newsmen that if the youths are given and equipped with the right leadership skills, Nigeria will take its rightful place in the Committee of Nations. You can hear them in the background. Um, they are in their formative years, and if you can ensure that certain characters, uh, abilities, and if there's any defect removed and the other good parts enhanced, then you are already building a nation for the Nigeria that we want and the ripple effect the world and Africa that we hope to see. We are just contributing to our own society. We cannot be here and allow things to go bad the way it, it is already going. You know, people talk about the next generation not being as good as uh, the previous and previous senior generations from the time of independence of our great nation, Nigeria, and now. But then nobody ever talked about helping them and instilling certain values. I, cannot, I can only display or give that which I know and have. So this is why the Dara Adeboe Foundation is pushing this future leaders' assembly. Also speaking at the event, the wife of late Pastor Dari Adeboye, Timi Adeboye, urged young people to shun bad behavior and companionship if they want to succeed and make a positive impact in society. For every Nigerian child, there's hope. Um, even the Bible says that when a tree is cut down, it will surely grow back, it will, it will surely sprout. So there's hope for every Nigerian child. I believe that we are still the leaders of tomorrow. Regardless of what is happening now or the current situation of the country, I believe that will be great. On her part, the keynote speaker of the event, Shei Jolayemi, stressed the need for young people to have early career mentorship and counseling, adding that getting the right leadership in Nigeria is a collective effort. We all need to take leadership very seriously, showing the children coming after us that they are not just the future of the nation, but indeed that future starts from today and now. And I'm so excited that we're focusing on the children, specifically those in secondary school between GSS 1 and SS 3. I mean, that is a target audience that a lot of attention needs to come on to right now because it's a, you know, the Gen Z where, you know, fact, some of them are still Generation Alpha, interestingly, and we're still getting to know them better. And this is the time we can begin to teach them the true value of leadership. So well done, Dara Deboye Foundation team. God bless you. The event, which witnessed massive turnout from private and public schools in Ogun State, also featured a spelling bee and quiz competitions. The participating students not only used the platform provided by the Daria Deboye Foundation to showcase their intellectual prowess, also won various gifts, prizes and money for their outstanding performance in the contests. Stand up, stand up for the champions, for the champions. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.